Welcome to Wednesday Night Worship at Faith. During the next five weeks, we're going to be taking a look at one very important verse in the New Testament that says a lot about who we're supposed to be as the people of God. The verse is from Colossians, the third chapter, and it reads like this. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. It's not by accident that Pastor Brian and I chose that verse, five words, five wonderful words, and five weeks of Lent, that'll give us a chance to practice one word a week. Try practicing each word on your own, try to incorporate it into your life, try to live that word, and try to explore with your family and friends what it means to be that kind of person. In the days ahead, we're going to be putting a video camera in front of many of your faces. We're gonna ask you your opinions of those words, we would appreciate your honest responses. As you help us to understand what you feel and think about those words, I think we'll all grow a little bit in our understanding of what it means to be the holy and beloved people of God. So tonight, we begin with the word compassion. What does it mean to you to be a compassionate? think of caring for others more than you're caring for yourself. That is what compassion is to me. Compassion is showing grace. In my opinion, uh, compassion is, is when Christ went across the Sea of Galilee to escape the crowds and met the crazy man in the tombs that wandered around all the graveyards and everyone in town was afraid of him and had tried to shackle him and he had broken free. And Christ had compassion on him and sent the demons out of him into the swine. Remember how the swine ran down the hill and drowned? The man was so grateful that he came up to Christ when Christ was leaving and said, take me with you. And Jesus had so much compassion on this man that he said, go back and tell your friends and neighbors about the Son of God and have compassion upon him. It's caring for the other person that you can when I hear the word compassion, I immediately think of Christ, and I see Christ reflected in the lives of the people here at, at Faith, but in my recent journey with cancer, I've just been overwhelmed with people's response to me through cards and letters and prayers. Uh, it's Christ's life being reflected. Compassion for me is not thinking about myself, but thinking about others. Compassion to me would be unlimited understanding and grace, knowing that in every one of our lives we will have times when we failed and we will need people to understand and show us that compassion and that grace. Many thanks to those of you who helped with tonight's video. In the days ahead, would you each prayerfully give some thought to what it might mean for you to be a compassionate person? 